I've seen clients say the wrong thing at the wrong time to a judge, and when you do that, you'll land yourself in some serious trouble. So here are nine things you never want to say in front of a judge, and we're gonna start with the least offensive and work our way up. If the judge says something wrong, never interrupt him. I had a client that I represented years ago. He was charged with theft from his employer. He was standing in front of the judge, and as he was about to do his plea, the judge looked at him and said, what have we learned here today? Well, the client said, well, judge, I've learned that I shouldn't be stealing things from my employer. He goes, that's right. From what I can tell, it looks like you've stolen about $500 from your employer. And at that moment, he started saying, no, judge, you've got that wrong. I don't know where you heard that. It was actually $322.23. Well, he interrupted the judge. He corrected the judge. And the judge began to become very irritated about that. He looked over at me and he said, counselor, do we have a problem here? All of a sudden, the judge looked down at the client and he said, are you going to argue with me over the amount that was stolen? Are you withdrawing your guilty plea in front of me here? today. And as a result of that, he angered the judge when he didn't have to. And as a result of that, he ended up almost getting a worse sentence than he would have. So what do you say, Your Honor, with all due respect, the actual amount was and say what it is. Or you look over at your attorney and ask for that clarity. He can look over at the judge and clean it up. Never interrupt the judge to make your point. One time I represented a guy who was charged with a felony in front of a judge who liked to hear himself talk a lot. Literally, this judge would go on for anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. Well, one time this client was tired of standing there. His feet began to hurt. And so he started interrupting the judge saying, judge, I appreciate you saying that, but I'm not sure what that has to do with the plea that we're doing here today. That pretty much pissed off the judge. The judge started looking at him saying, I'm sorry, is this not my court or is it your court? And if the judge has to say something, you have to stand there and take it. The client should have looked over at me and said, what do I do about this? It's always better for your attorney to interrupt the judge than it is for you. Always. Never blame your lawyer in court. One time I was standing in court and I was standing there watching a man next to his attorney and all of a sudden the man became irate. He looked up at the judge and he said, I'm not taking anything. And in fact, if I had a real lawyer who knew what he was doing and would listen to what I have to say, he would have already gotten this case dismissed. I don't ever want to talk to him again. He's a liar and he's a cheat and I don't want to be a part of representation with him any longer. Well, how do you think that went? When he began to blame his lawyer for why his case wasn't dismissed, the judge absolutely did not believe anything that he said at that point. He actually told the bailiff to take him into custody, take him into the back and hold him into the in, in the cell. As a result of his behavior, what he should have done is to stop and said, Your Honor, I'm a little confused about the situation. I'd like a few moments to consult with my attorney to make sure I understand what's going on. And in that moment, he could have shared his frustration with his lawyer privately and not made a scene in front of everyone. And now, how do you think that judge is going to take his case if it goes to trial? Judges are human beings too. He's going to remember that guy as being the one who went nuts in court and blamed his lawyer. For better or worse, the only ally you have in court is your attorney. Never tell the judge you know what rehab or treatment you need if you're on probation. In fact, I was standing in front of the courthouse one day and I saw as I was walking my way into the courtroom and I saw a man go in front of the judge with his attorney and he began to argue with the judge. He said, judge, listen, I don't need what you're giving me here. I appreciate you putting me back on this probation, but I've come here with a list of things that I think I should do and none of them involve inpatient treatment. Well, the judge got extremely upset at him and he said, let me ask you a question. Do you think a drug addict knows what he needs if he's a drug addict? Do you think he's in the best place to make that sort of decision? And at that point, he realized there was nothing he could say to re rehabilitate his position in front of the judge because now the judge had labeled him a drug addict. So what should he have done? First, say, Your Honor, I very much appreciate you giving me the opportunity to be able to be on this probation. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make it right. Then have your attorney go over, negotiate with the probation department and the judge. But if you speak up and you start telling the judge what you think you need, you lose credibility. Never tell the judge you're innocent if you're currently on probation. I, one time, I, I was actually represented someone who was on a probation revocation hearing and they had messed up their probation and they were on the witness stand and we were asking questions. They turned around and they looked over at the prosecutor and they looked over at the judge and they said, judge, listen, I know you put me on this probation, but I never did anything wrong. If you just go back and take a look at the facts of this case, you'll know that I was innocent and you can just cut me loose now. The judge immediately reminded him, sir, you have already pled guilty to this offense and under the law, you have already been determined to be guilty and all I need to do now is to determine what your sentence is going to be, I think you need to focus now more upon what the reason was behind you would not complete your probation. Why didn't you do your community service hours? Why didn't you complete your drug class? So what should the client have done? You should in those moments go back to your attorney, come back with a very strong narrative for which you can explain to the judge why you made the mistakes so that the judge can let you finish your probation.
Never be late to court. I actually was at the courthouse recently and I saw a man who showed up about 15 minutes late to court and the judge asked him, why aren't you here on time? That's because the parking at this courthouse is so terrible. If you would fix the parking, I wouldn't be late. Now, in fairness, the courthouse parking is terrible, but that's not what you want to say to the judge. The judge became irate. He told the bailiff to take him into custody and forfeit his bond because not only was he late, but he was disrespectful to the judge. Now, what should he have done? Instead, what he should have done is, Your Honor, I'm very sorry. I ask for your forgiveness for being late today. I meant no disrespect to this court. I had a little bit of a problem getting up here, but it will never happen again, Your Honor. If you would have said that, the odds of him being released with a warning were probably 98%. Never trash talk your PO in front of the judge. I actually had someone standing in court that I witnessed uh, a few months ago. They began to immediately say, judge, the problem is my probation officer lied to me. They lied to me about me being able to go to this place for my community service. If they had told me the truth, I would have shown up and taken care of it. The judge called the probation officer up and said, is it true? Did you tell him the wrong place to go? And the probation officer said, no, your honor, that's absolutely not true. Because I want to remind you something. The judge goes to Christmas dinners with your probation officer and spends hours of time every week with your probation officer in the courtroom. So if it comes down to the judge believing you or your probation officer, I can promise you they're going to believe your probation officer every single time. Judge looked over and said, I don't appreciate you calling my probation officer a liar. I'm going to make you spend the weekend in jail to think about your actions in the future. I think at that moment, he should have said, Your Honor, there may be a misunderstanding. I'd like to speak to my attorney about this matter, and I'm sure we can get this cleared up so that way I'm of an understanding of what took place. Let your lawyer expose the fraud of your PO so that they can act on your behalf. Never be rude to the court staff. I was in court one time and I heard a man begin to get upset at a bailiff and he, he looked at him and he was privately off to the side and he said, I bet you think you're powerful just because you wear that uniform, don't you? Immediately that bailiff walked over, informed the judge what was going on. The judge then calls that man up and said, is it true you just spoke to my bailiff the way that you did? And it didn't even matter what he was gonna say at that point because the moment that the judge heard what he heard from the bailiff, this man was done. The judge turned around and immediately said, your bond is forfeited, I double your bond, you're spending the weekend in jail. What should he have done in that situation is just step back. Let your pride take a hit. Who cares what the bailiff has to say? It's court staff, they're inconsequential. Let your lawyer go in and fight your case. Never lie to the judge. One time there was a man that was standing in front of a judge and the judge said, young man, I'm gonna give you an opportunity here today to get your case resolved in a favorable fashion as long as you can tell me you're going to pass a drug test. Are you gonna pass a drug test, yes or no? And the man goes, yes, I am, your honor. I'm absolutely going to pass a drug test. He took the drug test and of course he failed it. And I mean, he was high as a kite on this drug test. And they said, young man, I, I need to understand what's going on. Why would you tell me you were gonna pass this drug test when you failed it? Had you used drugs? And then the man begins to admit he used drugs that morning. And he asked him, why did you lie to me about using the drugs? I didn't think you would catch me. He ended up being thrown into jail. He lost his bond and he ended up getting inpatient drug treatment for up to six months as a result of that. Can I tell you, if the judge asks you a question, if you're not sure of the answer, look to your attorney. Tell the judge you don't know. But the worst thing you could possibly do is lie to the judge. Even celebrities like Mr. Beast mess up with the law sometimes. If you wanna know what to do if you get arrested or pulled over by the police department, check out this video and I'll see you there.